Welcome to the homework for Lesson 9. This is Module 2 of Grade 2. Write your name first. Make sure you get credit for your work. Uh, and we have some uh, some measurement puzzles to work on here. Now this is a video, so um, with a, a lot of these kinds of questions, you can see that we've got, we're going to have pages of word problems. We're going to have to do a lot of drawing, probably. We're going to do some RDW here. Uh, make sure you have, for word problems, always, got to have a picture. You got to read it, draw it, write an equation, write an answer statement. And uh, this is a video. So, you know, if you don't need the help on a particular problems, skip ahead to the next one. Or use it to check your answers. If I go too fast, because I'm going to have to at times, uh, it's okay. Pause the video, catch up, or just go back over the part that you want to see again. No one will know. Number one. Mia. It's almost always a girl's name. Mia completed, completed the chart. This whole thing right here is the chart. By first estimating the measurement around three objects in her house. And the three objects are an orange, a mini basketball, and the bottom of a glue bottle. So she estimated the measurement around these objects first, and then she actually measured them. She found the actual measurement with her meter strip. So this column here, this is the estimated measurement, and this is the actual measurement for each object. So here's our first question. What is the difference between the longest and shortest measurements? So we're looking at the measurements, not the estimates. So the longest one was 41 and the shortest was 8. It's asking for the difference and that, that's what's left over when we, after we subtract. So it's 41 minus 8. And since they gave us this chart right here, we don't really have to draw a picture of the glue bottle and the mini and, and the and the mini basketball. We could draw a little tape diagram if we really wanted to. The labeled number bond would work too. You gotta have labels. So this is eight, right? And we know this is 41, and these are centimeters we're counting. Always got to keep track of what it is you're counting. And the difference between, the difference between is right here. This is the more. How long is this right here? 41 minus 8. All right, and this is the mini basketball, MB, and this is the bottom of the glue, B. G. So now everything's labeled and we're ready to go. 41 minus 8. We could use a take from 10 strategy here. Or we could just count backwards. 8 from 41. Uh, I'm going to do, if I take 10 out of this 41, I'm going to have 31 and 10. Because I'm going to have one less 10. I won't have 40 and 1. 4, four tens and a 1. I only have 3 tens and a 1. Here's the other 10 right there, 10. And I could, taking 8 away from 10 is pretty easy because if you know your parts from 10 really well and if you don't, practice them because you really need them, that's going to be 2. And then we can just add the 2 back into the 31. That's 32, 33, so it's 33 centimeters. 33. You can even put it over here too, 33. All right, B. Draw a tape diagram comparing the measurements of the orange and the bottom of the glue bottle. So the orange, right, the measurement of the orange was 36 and the bottom of the glue ball was 8. So that's, we, we can do the same thing now with 36 and 8. Mm -hmm. Now this, now what this directions for this, it says draw a tape diagram, right? So all we have to do is draw the tape diagram. We don't have to solve it. We just have to draw it and label it. So this is the orange O, and this is the bottom of the glue, 
BG. The glue is 8, and the orange was 36. Set in there both centimeters, CM. Done. We didn't have to do anything else with that. Now draw a tape diagram comparing, we're in C now down here, draw a tape diagram comparing the measurements of the basketball and the bottom of the glue ball. Well, we, can, we already did that really in part A, but in, just in case you didn't, it says to just draw, we don't have to solve it again, but we, we are going to draw a tape diagram, so, even if you already have it up there. This won't take very long. So the basketball it's MB and the bottle the bottom of the glue. <clears throat> basketball was forty one and the glue was eight. So this is forty one. CM and the glue was 8 and you could draw this right here if you wanted to you could draw a question you don't have, you don't even have to do that because it doesn't tell us that we have to find the difference it's just, we're just drawing a tape diagram comparing the two measurements and that's it that's all, you know, that's all we have to have so let's go on to the next page now um, on this page we have to measure Measure the two, measure the two paths below with your meter strip and string. <coughs> uh, now you can do this with, if your meter strip is made out of paper, paper's pretty bendy, you can use that to measure the, the curvy path B. You can use a piece of string and put it on top of the curvy line and then straighten it out and measure it with a ruler. You can do that. Um, you could also you could use a you know some kind of a cord or a cable. You could use the charging cable for a phone, but you don't cut it, don't cut it. But you could use that to figure out like where it starts and where it ends, and then straighten it out and see how long it is. A, you know, a piece of tape, a tape measure, all things that you can bend and then either straighten out or you can just look at a measurement. If you have a paper meter strip, then you can just try and put it on top of the curvy line and see how long and see where the numbers are. But the whole idea is that. They look like they they start and finish at about the same place. They, sh you might think that well, path A. If you measure it, it's it's nine. I'll just tell you, it's nine centimeters. Well, path B looks like it should be about nine because it starts and ends in in the same place as path A, but it's curvier. So it, it when you straighten it out, it ends up being a little bit longer. It ends up being one more centimeter longer. It ends up being ten centimeters. And then C together paths a and b measure so that's together is addition nine plus ten and that's ten nine right that's nineteen ten nine together they measure nineteen centimeters and then a little bit more on this path a is path A longer or shorter than B? Well, A is 9 and B is 10, so path A has to be shorter. Right? I'll write it. In fact, a lot of times this helps. Right under where it says path A, I'm going to write 9. And right under where it says path B, I'm going to write 10. Well, how much longer is 10 than 9? It's 1 centimeter longer. And then our last one, number 3. Sean and Stephen had a contest to see who could jump farther. Sean jumped 75 centimeters. Stephen jumped nine more centimeters than Sean. He didn't jump nine, he jumped nine more. So how far did Stephen jump and who won the jumping contest? And then finally it says here, draw a tape diagram. So this is a word problem. We're gonna have to RDW this. And sometimes this is one of those times where it really helps to read the whole thing and all the questions in the beginning. Because it's going to save you some work if you do that. 
you know right from the beginning you're going to have to draw a tape diagram anyway. So you may as well draw the tape diagram to help you figure out to help you figure it out first. So we're going to draw the tape. And although C comes last, we're going to do it first. Here's Sean. And he's SH. And he's 75 centimeters, right? If you're going to draw a math picture, you know, with stick people, then a big hop, and then a bigger hop, you can do that too. But this says tape diagram. You have to draw the tape. Why draw two pictures? You only have to draw one. Steven jumped nine more. So Steven jumped more. His tape is going to be longer than Sean. And now we don't know how far Steven jumped, but we know what the more is. Right? You don't have to write the word more in yours. But that's this is the more. Right? And we know how long that is. The more is nine more, right? So that's nine. And then this, right, is the same. So it has to be the same as the 75 we already know. My pen just stopped writing. 75. And these are all CMs. All right, now we have a labeled picture. So there's a tape diagram. Done. C is done. Uh, how far did Steven jump? Now we can figure this out because we know the same plus how much more. It's 75 plus 9. So we're going to write our equation. 75 plus nine equals now if there's a trick for doing this in your head it's really easy to add 10 more right because 75 10 more will be 85 well, 9 is one less than 10 so instead of 85 would be one less than 85 it's 84 you could do it that way in your head or you could just count up nine more I mean, these numbers nine more is not that much more to count 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 84 Steven jumped 84 centimeters. Who won the jumping contest? Who jumped farther? Well, we knew that from the beginning because we knew Steven jumped more. Uh, and the contest was to see who could jump farther. So and it would be weird if it was a, like who could jump shorter, right? But it's almost always farther. So, But you're going to read the question. So who won it? Who jumped farther? Steven. And notice that the answer to this is not a number. It says who, right? So the answer is a name. And uh, so we know who won. We know how far Stephen jumped. And we draw our tape diagram. Uh, we're done.